Hey guys, what's up? So with the new iPad Pro's design and the USB-C charging port, it sucks that you can't use a lot of the accessories that were made for the previous iPad Pro models. Since the refresh iPad Pros are new, a lot of accessories are still scarce or some of you might be wondering which accessories best utilize the USB-C port. So I tried to round up the good accessories and hopefully this helps you out. So the first one might be obvious, but having the second generation Apple Pencil is one of the best accessories for the new iPad Pro. Its matte finish, double tap gestures, and sleek design makes it different from the first generation Pencil. This pencil gives you the ability to take precise notes, mark up documents on your iPad. Also, the iPad screen's 120Hz refresh rate makes drawing on apps like Procreate very fluid. But the best part of it all is that it magnetically connects to the side of the iPad Pro for wireless charging and carrying around so you don't lose it. Since the 2018 iPad Pro has no headphone jack, you can't use your normal wired headphones or earphones. So you can buy Apple's $9 USB-C to 3.5mm headphone jack dongle. There are also cheaper alternatives on Amazon like this one that splits into one for charging and the other for the 3.5mm headphone jack to listen to music while the iPad Pro charges. I'll leave as many links as I can for a lot of these accessories in my description. If you think that having a dongle is a hassle and you might misplace it, there are options of wireless headphones or earphones like the AirPods, Beat headphones or other cheaper alternatives on Amazon. Or USB-C headphones like this that plug right into the iPad without the trouble of having to use a dongle. The 2018 iPad Pro comes with a USB-C charger and a double-ended USB-C cable so you can't just carry a single dock in order to charge your iPad and let's say your iPhone. This multi-output adapter which has a USB-C and a USB-A outlet is a convenient choice for those of you that don't like carrying multiple stuff with the same purpose. This way you can charge your new iPad Pro and iPhone or Apple Watch through the same dock. The best way to utilize a USB-C port on your new iPad Pro is to buy a USB-C hub. The biggest benefits of the new iPad Pro's change to the USB Type-C from the Lightning is the increased amount of power it can carry. This way you can do multitasks and that's exactly what the hub is made for. With a hub like this for example, you can plug in your USB-C cable to charge your iPad while you use the USB-A port to charge your iPhone and use the SD card slot to transfer pictures you took on your DSLR cameras. If you plan to connect your iPhone to your iPad Pro directly, then you will be needing a USB-C to Lightning cable. There are alternatives on Amazon for this as well, but the better choice would be to buy it from the Apple's official website, since knockoffs can sometimes not work or stop working very quickly. Honestly, I think that the keyboard case Apple sells is a ripoff. It's just way too expensive when taking in the fact that the iPad Pro has already drained so much money. There are very cheap Bluetooth keyboards that you can buy on Amazon instead that work just as good. So this is it for this video guys, share some of your thoughts on the new iPad Pros in the comments below. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more content around Apple products. Until next time guys, take care.